Magnetism Introduction What happens when you close the door of your refrigerator? It gets drawn and stuck even without a bolt or a lock. Why does it happen so? Simple. This happens due to the presence of a magnet. Even a few pencil boxes or tiffin boxes have this arrangement for fitting the lid. What exactly are magnets? In this chapter, we will read about them in detail. According to Chinese literature, magnetism was known to Chinese as early as 2000 BCE. Chinese discovered that when a piece of magnetite was suspended freely, it always pointed in a particular direction. This directive property of magnetite was very helpful to sailors who used it to find the direction when they were sailing. Since it helped the sailors in leading the ships in the right direction, magnetite came to be known as the leading stone or lodestone. Magnetism was known to Greeks as early as 800 BCE. Greeks discovered that certain stones attracted iron objects. When these stones were suspended freely, they came to rest pointing in north-south direction. These stones were called lodestones. Thus, lodestone was the first magnet discovered by man. The stone containing iron ore is called magnetite Fe304. Later on, artificial magnets were also made from pieces of iron. Magnet A magnet is an object made of certain materials like iron which can create a magnetic influence or effect. Fact The magnetic compass was first used around CE 1100. Chinese sailors used it to navigate in cloudy weather. Magnetic and non-magnetic substances Substances which are attracted by a magnet are called magnetic substances. Examples Iron, Steel, Cobalt and Nickel are the magnetic substances. The substances which are not attracted by a magnet are called non-magnetic substances. Examples Wood, Plastic, Copper, Paper and Aluminium are non-magnetic substances. Magnetism The property by virtue of which a magnet attracts magnetic substances and comes to rest in the north-south direction when suspended freely by means of a thread at its center is called magnetism. Activity To classify objects as magnetic and non-magnetic Bring different household objects like a glass, a lock, a pencil, an eraser, a spoon, etc. close to a magnet one by one. You will find that some of these objects are attracted by the magnet while some objects do not show any attraction or repulsion. Make a note of the objects attracted by the magnet and those which are not. Now, you can classify all the objects as magnetic and non-magnetic. Characteristics of a magnet Activity Magnet exerts force. Take a piece of glass and put it over two blocks. Now, spread some iron pins over the glass and put a magnet under the glass. Now, move the magnet in any direction. The pins will move in the direction in which the magnet is moving. This shows that magnet attracts iron and exerts a magnetic force on it. Natural and Artificial Magnets Substances like lodestone and magnetite that occur naturally and have the property of attracting magnetic substances are called natural magnets. The magnets which are made by man using artificial methods are called artificial magnets. These are generally made of steel in various shapes and sizes. The magnets can be categorized as bar magnet, horseshoe shaped magnet, U-shaped magnet, ring magnet and magnetic needle.
poles of a magnet when a bar magnet is suspended freely with the help of a string it always points towards north and south when this magnet is disturbed slightly it again comes to rest in north south direction the end pointing towards north is called north pole and the end pointing towards south is called south pole of the magnet the two ends of a magnet where the force of attraction is maximum are called magnetic poles note magnetic poles are actually two points very close to the ends of the magnet every magnet irrespective of its shape has a north pole and a south pole the strength of a magnet is maximum at poles as you move towards the center of the magnet the magnetic power goes on decreasing and becomes negligible at the center activity to locate poles of a magnet a magnet has two poles north pole and south pole spread some iron filings on the table top and place a magnet over there the iron filings start clinging more towards the end of the magnet and very less at the middle of it This shows that magnetic property is maximum at the ends and minimum at the center of a magnet. So, the regions at the ends of a magnet where attraction is maximum are called the poles. Activity: To show that magnetic poles exist in pairs, take a bar magnet having north pole N and south pole S. Break the magnet from the center. Now bring another magnet near a broken piece of the magnet in such a way that the north pole of the magnet is near the one end of the broken piece you will observe that this end of the broken piece behaves like a pole which attracts or repels the magnet the end of the broken piece is the south pole if it attracts the magnet and if it repels the magnet it is the north pole the other end of the broken magnet will act as the other pole this shows that poles of a magnet cannot be separated if a magnet is broken into two pieces each piece will comprise a north pole and south pole if you further divide each piece into two parts then again each part will behave as a complete magnet having both north pole and south pole So we can conclude that magnetic poles occur in pairs only. Earth's magnetic field. The earth behaves as a huge bar magnet as regards its magnetic field on the surface of the earth and up to a height of about 3 into 10 raised to the power 4 kilometers. However, there appears to be no collection of magnetized solid mass in the interior of the earth. The magnetic field of the earth is due to following. 1. The molten charged metallic fluid circulating in the core of the earth makes it behave like a huge bar magnet. 2. The rotation of the earth about to its own axis causes earth's magnetism. 3. It is assumed that the rotation of the earth about its own axis causes the magnetization of the iron and nickel mass and the earth behaves as a bar magnet testing a magnet a magnet can attract a magnetic substance as well as the opposite pole of a magnet but repulsion occurs only in between two like poles of two different magnets so we can say that repulsion is the surer way of testing a magnet activity Repulsion is a sure test for magnetism. Take a metal bar. Bring one pole, north or south, of a magnet near the ends of the metal bar one by one. If both ends of the magnet attract, the metal bar is not a magnet. If one end attracts and the other repels, the metal's bar is a magnet. Thus, repulsion is a sure test for metal bar. to be a magnet or not